مدد بگیر از مولاد حرم میه رو علم دار نیام علم دار نیام علم ای اهل علم ای سقای حسین So this video is going to be a response to a particular comment uh, that was made to my video on Lebanon being on the verge of uh, civil war. In this video, I briefly mentioned that the Shiite ritual of Ashura, in which Shiite Muslims uh, ritually mutilate themselves in honor of the sons of Ali, Hassan and Hussein, uh, most likely was something that came from uh, pre-Islamic Iranian culture. Now, someone in the comments section stated that uh, what I said was bogus because uh, Muslims in Iraq, uh, specifically in Karbala, which is the holy city of the Shiites, uh, do this uh, ritual. So therefore, it's not Iranian. It's something that uh, is Islamic. And when I said what I said, uh, I did not do so with any sort of research. I never really researched the origins of Ashura, uh, but I uh, came to the assumption that it was something out of uh, pre-Islamic Iranian uh, culture. The reason why I made this assumption is because uh, Ashura is not something that is practiced widespread in the Islamic world. It's just not. It's not practiced in Saudi Arabia, which is the homeland of Islam. It's the motherland of the entire Islamic religion. The great majority of the Islamic world uh, is not Shiite. And if Ashura was something that originally came from Islam, then we have, <laughs> then why don't we have any sort of uh, a record of the Prophet Muhammad himself doing this? Why don't we have any sort of record of Muhammad telling people uh, to, to ritually cut themselves in honor of the dead? Uh, why don't we have any sort of legitimate hadith telling people to ritually cut themselves in honor of Hassan and Hussein. Uh, we don't have any uh, uh, um, hadiths from the time right after the death of Muhammad telling people to, to cut themselves. What we do have uh, are, are, are records of Muslims in the medieval period cutting themselves in honor of Hassan and uh and Hussein. Uh, it's not something that you find in the time of Muhammad. It's not something that you find in the time of Ali. It's not something that you find in the time of Hassan and Hussein. It's something that sprung from Iranian influence. Iranian influence in Iraq. Because the, the, the holy site for, for Shia Islam is in Iraq, specifically in Karbala. And what I found in my research is that there was this ancient dynasty called the Buyid, 
The Bui dynasty uh, mainly ruled over Iraq and central and southern Iran from 934 to 1062. And the, uh, the Buyids, they were descendants uh, of a man by the name of Pana Kusrov. And Pana Kusrov was a Zoroastrian from uh, the area of Daylam. And Daylam was in Iran. And uh, this, this guy, uh, Pana Kusrov, he had a son by the name of Buya. And yes, I'm reading from notes because I can't remember all of this stuff. And Buya was a Zoroastrian. Uh, who left Zoroastrianism and converted to Islam. And so the Bui dynasty comes from his lineage. The Buyids were people who were, um, they were Iranian, and they controlled Iraq. And the Buyids were, um, they were a, a, a dynasty that heavily popularized the ritual of self-mutilation uh, in remembrance of Hassan and Hussein. And we find uh, a record from the medieval period of this sort of thing being, you know, documenting this sort of thing being popularized by the Buyid dynasty. Now we can look to archaeology to see how self-mutilation, ritual self-mutilation, was done by ancient Iranians before Islam. Now, I did some research on this, and what I found was that there's not really a whole lot of information on the origins of Ashura. There's just not. A lot of people just assume, well, it comes from Shia Islam. How did that come about? And there's not a whole lot of discourse on that particular subject, uh, nor on uh, really answering that question. But I did find one essay. I found one essay. Uh, it was published by the University of California, Irvine, and it was written by two scholars, Turaj Daraye and Sudabe Malekzadeh. And they wrote uh, an essay on the origins of Ashura. And it's entitled Performance of Pain and Remembrance in Late Ancient Iran. And I'll put a link to it in the description below so that you guys can read it for yourselves. And I want to read to you guys some excerpts from this essay. So this was one part that I found to be really the most fascinating. It says here, there is material evidence, especially from the eastern borders of the Persianate world beyond the Oxus, which suggests that Zoroastrian taboos regarding physical or emotional self-harm in mourning rituals were not observed because Zoroastrianism uh, supposedly condemns self-mutilation, ritual self-mutilation. But nonetheless, ritual self-mutilation was something that was done by pre-Islamic Iranians. In Sogdiana, and Sogdiana was an ancient Iranian civilization, which consisted of present-day um, uh, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, uh, uh, Kazakhstan, and Kyrgyzstan. It, it, it was within Central Asia. And it says here that Sogdiana, a region of what may be called Zoroastrian Orthopraxy, one of the cultural centers, was Panjikent, where in many drawings, the Sogdian Vagdapat, master of a temple, is depicted as being in charge of the affairs of the temple. One of the best known artistic representations of a lamentation ceremony is a mural that displays a youth on his deathbed and several people gathered around him, lacerating their face and body probably as a funerary rite. The essay also has some other pretty, informa uh, pretty interesting information. Um, so it says here, a Sogdian Manichaean text describes the way Iranian, uh, Iranians partook in a funerary ritual. Quote, and there take place spilling of blood, killing of horses, laceration of faces, and taking, cutting off of ears. So we know that... Iranian people before Islam ritually cut themselves when they were mourning the dead. And it's really interesting that in the Bible, it says, do not cut yourselves for the dead. And we have an idea as to what the Bible was addressing here. And we know that Iranians before Islam were doing this ritual. They were cutting themselves, cutting their foreheads for the dead and mourning for the dead as a funerary rite, 
And today you have Shias, Shiite Muslims, cutting their foreheads for the dead, Hassan and Hussein. This is not Islamic. People in Saudi Arabia aren't cutting themselves for Hassan and Hussein. People in the West Bank aren't doing this. Most Muslims, the great majority of Muslims in Afghanistan are not doing this. The great majority of Muslims in the entire Islamic world are not doing this. It's only the Shiites. Which tells me that this is not Islamic in its origin. The great majority of Christians are Catholic. The great majority of Christians in the entire Christian world believe in the Eucharist, at least in a nominal way. What does that tell me? It tells me, well, the Eucharist, the idea of the Eucharist, the, the, the ritual, the rite of the Eucharist, is something that is deep within Christian history. If someone were to tell me, well, no, the Eucharist is something that isn't in, in its origin Christian. It's something that came later, popped up in the, in the time of Constantine the Great in the 4th century. Well, that person would be wrong because I can point to the New Testament and find the Eucharist in the time of Christ. I can point to the most ancient Christian writers outside of the writers of the New Testament, authors like Clement of Rome and Ignatius of Antioch. I can find these very ancient writers who were very close to the time of Christ talking about the Eucharist. I can point to the Didache, which is uh, our oldest piece of Christian literature outside of the book of Revelation, right after the book of Revelation. It's extremely old, and it talks about the Eucharist. So the Eucharist is something that is found in its roots deep within Christian history. Um, now, if there was a very small minority of Christians who were doing the Eucharist, then you could say, well, what are its origins? Where did this come from? And if, if, in other words, if the rite of the Eucharist was done only within certain areas of, of the world, you know, there's some Christians in Japan that are doing it. There's some Christians in Afghanistan that are doing it. Some Christians in Africa are doing this, but most Christians don't do this. Then I could say, well, yeah, that's, that's questioned the origin of this rite. But that's not the case with the Eucharist. Now, you can't say this about Ashura. Ashura is done by a minority in the Islamic world, not the majority. And so what this tells me is that it's not something that comes from Muhammad. That's what that tells me. So who really popularized Ashura in the Islamic world? It was the Buyid dynasty that heavily popularized this ritual. And the Buyids controlled Iraq. And so they popularized this ritual. And the Buyids were Iranian. They're, they were descendants of Zoroastrians. They were descendants of these Iranian peoples who lived in Central Asia. And we have evidence of pre-Islamic Iranians in Central Asia cutting themselves for the dead. And these Central Asian Iranian people, uh, the Buyids, they influenced a huge chunk of the Muslim world, a, a substantial chunk of the Muslim world, to cut themselves for Hassan and Hussein. Now, there's a part of this essay that I want to read to you guys. It says here, Muiz al-Dawla, Muiz al-Dawla was the first emir of the Bui dynasty, was instrumental in promoting Shiite practices, and for the first time on the 10th of Muharram in 963 uh, CE, which is really AD, a public mourning was performed. The markets were closed and commerce ceased. Women with loosened hair, blackened faces, and, and rent garments marched in procession, beating and lacerating their faces in lamentation. Historians categorize this type of mourning ritual as a Caspian region Dalamite tradition. Dalamite is Iranian. The region being closely connected to Khorasan, which lied in northwestern Iran, southern Turkmenistan, and northern Afghanistan, both geographically and culturally. So the essay concludes, quote, because of their lamentation practices in line with those of the greater Khorasanian or Central Asian world, the Buyids seem to have been responsible for promoting such observ observances or at least laying the basis for their broader dissemination. And that's 
the conclusion that the essay comes to, or at least one of the conclusions. So really, that explains why um, Ashura is done so widely in Iraq. Iraq was controlled by the Buyids in the Middle Ages, and the Buyids were instrumental in popularizing this ritual of self-mutilation. Um, and people in Iran still do this. People all over the Shiite world do this because it was popularized by this medieval uh, Shiite dynasty, which was founded by Iranians. And their lineage goes all the way back to Zoroastrianism and pre-Islamic Iranian culture in Central Asia, where we know for a fact Iranians cut themselves for the dead. So there you have it. There is no serious evidence that Ashura has its roots in Islam, but there is evidence that it has its roots in uh, pre-Islamic Iranian culture, pre-Islamic Iranian uh, religion. And so that's why I stand by what I said. Ashura, self-mutilation, is not Islamic. It's pre-Islamic Iranian paganism. Anyway, that's my video for tonight or for the day, depending on where you are. Uh, you guys just heard some theology. God bless.